Hey guys, Marshall one here and today I'm playing Contract Force with EBR CQB or you can call this weapon MK14 and today I wanna talk about something else nice first shot and VIP kill um, what is better hide ops or Contract Force and how you should guys decide uh, what game exactly you should play so today video it's gonna be only my opinion and something uh, like short review between uh, those two games because at the moment I'm playing both games and you know I've been playing Contract Wars for a while for over three years and I'm playing Hired Ops for last um, I don't know around a month so uh, at the moment you cannot compare those two games um, fully because Hide Ops is still a game in develop process and it will take a lot more time than you think uh, until that game is finished and simply made to be uh, decent and to work good because they still need to work a lot on optimization and fixing all those bugs and I know ooh, oh my god uh, I know you guys are like Contract Force is lagging that much it has so many problems uh, glitches there are so many hackers but um, have in mind that same things are happening in high ops expect those hackers uh, but that is a unity platform and it uh, it's a game that is made on unity so that means it's still easy to be hacked and I believe uh, those guys will be focused to work on uh, making hacks and hacking this game so if developers um, really doesn't implement good good anti-hack system you know hard ops will finish even faster than contract force so by my opinion contract force is way much better game and do should they should stay uh, focused on this game they should just add a sprint button because i believe this game could have a sprint uh, also and they've been saying um, at one post that they will add maybe a sprint button in contract force they will add a weapon customization and we got a weapon customization but improving graphics and other things i think they are able to do that because uh, just compare first oh they are coming i'm sorry uh, just compare first contract force game to today's contract force and you will see uh, obvious improvement because graphic in Contract Force is drastically improved and I really like it I really like uh, weapon customization here uh, I must admit that I mm, dislike recoil system here but it's uh, much easier to use and it's funny uh, at least when you aim down the site and you're shooting uh, at your enemies you're hitting them so in hide ops uh, still hit detection is bugged and it's a little bit glitchy game you know but you cannot mind uh, to them because it's still early alpha version uh, of that game and as I said it will take a lot of time until it's fixed and maybe it won't be even fixed till the beta 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 how do you say beta never mind <laughs> until it's out so I believe uh, during that period we will have a better game also at the moment developers are working on adding uh, one of the favorite and most popular maps that was in contract force and here it's called evacuation it's a evac map uh, and i'm not really sure if it's evac or evac 2 but it's simply called like that uh, and you will be able to see me playing on that map i will do a review and uh, all possible gameplays there because i know it was one of your favorite maps guys uh, same as Bay 5 but I know people are curious like can I run uh, high ops what are the recommendation uh, can you play on all samples so as I said once um, I will make a gameplay on all possible maps there uh, I will do uh, gameplays with, with all weapons but at the moment you should check my high ops uh, review where I did um, review of all weapons, all maps, how to download it and other things so there is no old sound mill, there is no evac, uh, no site map at the moment you have only depot map 
uh, which is team elimination and rest are shown on that video what other maps you have also all weapons that you have there is no Naviski SKS uh, SA58 and other maps uh, other guns or other maps so you are all able to see in that video so uh, that's why I will not answer to those questions anymore because I'm getting daily around 10 questions and imagine in 10 days I have a uh, hundred same questions can you do this can you do that uh, and those things doesn't exist at all so please go back to that uh, Hydops review video so you can see if you are curious what all things you are able to see in Hydops and pick one uh, from that list and I will do that video but uh, at the moment as I said I will do gameplay with all weapons there so just be patient and I will do them all uh, anyway are you able to run that game I'm really not able to give you proper information as I said go to hiredops.com page and check um, frequently asked questions number three and there you will find your answer to that question but uh, I will tell you like that if you could run uh, contract force normally normally without any lag problems or that your FPS is dropping down uh, that means you will need like 20% better computer and PC specifications than you have at the moment to be able to smoothly run uh, hide up so in my opinion uh, what could be something decent for running hide ops is, is something like um, AMD processor um, maybe something like uh, Intel i3 4 gigabytes of RAM and at the least to have GTX 700 uh, 50 graphic card with one gigabyte or something else um, a ATI uh, graphic cards and j just to be at least one gigabyte if you wanna uh, run that game smoothly so uh, they there could be even some uh, upside downs like you can have a graphic card with less um, gigabytes or maybe two or three gigabyte runs uh, I'm really not sure but it's only my recommendation since people ask me so much about Hydops and could they run it uh, it will be the best if you could read that on Hydops.com or if you're asking me can you run that game at least post me your PC specifications so I can uh, check them out and read them because I believe not many people are hearing what I'm saying but anyway uh, generally my opinion that contract force is just not because I'm playing it for over three years or I've played it for three years but uh, the, this game is slightly better because of all things that are added in game and even if we don't have any more develop support and you cannot contact anyone people say it's a dead game while well, time is moving on so I think three years for uh, one game was uh, pretty much time and I mean three years I'm playing it but this game is alive at least for five years so just uh, time got over that game and it's time to move on so uh, same is happening now with hired ops and it will be the same uh, situations at the moment hired ops is maybe looking ugly ugly but um, imagine just how that game will look in a year or two it will become more popular because I discovered uh, contract force when we already had enough good weapons so just believe in developers even if you hate them uh, generally in one or two years uh, they will do something and fix that game make it even better get more players to play it because at the end I believe uh, many people will uh, really like that game they will start to sell it out maybe it will be more expensive maybe it will be cheaper but at the moment $10 uh, is the price on the Steam and you need a Steam account to um, download that game and of course you need to pay you will not have a chance to play it for free I don't believe it and if you complain about ten dollars then that game isn't definitely for you you can keep playing um, 
contract force because it's a free browser game and I also gave you a list uh, of top 5 free FPS games on your browser so you're able to play those games also you have Warface there but um, today I don't wanna talk about it I just said I wanna nice uh, make my opinion about uh, those two games and tell you some uh, things also if you wanna know more please ask me down in comment I'll be happy to reply it to you guys and give you more information if you really need them about hired ops or contract force anyway that was it for today's video I hope you enjoyed it and that you will support my cont content uh, with like button so thanks for watching and I hope to see you next time enjoy